details in the drowning of two people after a car went right into a pond. Police have released the names of everyone involved, and the main factor in this accident, speeding. KOCF's Dave Detling, live on the northwest side. Dave, far different scene there than 24 hours ago. Hey, good evening, Morgan. Well, a candlelight vigil just wrapping up behind me. There are floaties in the pond behind me. Police say DeQuante Colbert was the owner of the BMW. They say he and two friends got into that BMW for a ride. It crashed into the pond behind me. DeQuante Colbert able to survive. His two friends did not. And tonight, people who live in this neighborhood warning everyone about the dangers of speeding. It's the last Snapchat video from inside a BMW believed to have been sent by passenger Charlie Huddleston from the back seat. Police say that car was driving through Heritage Oaks at high speeds Thursday. Around 9.30, it hit this curb, went airborne, skimmed a metal barrier, and sank to the bottom of this 15-foot deep man-made pond. The car's owner making it out alive. Driver 18-year-old Marlon Green drowned along with his friend Charlie Huddleston. Friday, friends remembered Huddleston, who was a locally known rapper who had dreams of making it big. Out of all the people, I don't know why him. He had he had all the talent. He had he had everything. He was he was almost there. I mean, he was right there, almost made it. Police say the night of the crash, Huddleston, Green, and the BMW's owner took the new car for a spin. It's still unclear why they were in Heritage Oaks. Neither Green nor Huddleston live there. But people who call the development home say it's a common zone for speeding. If you don't see it, you can hear it. You can hear the sounds of V8s and, and squealing rubber. I don't know why they would come this way. Because you can't go, you know, can't not go through. Mm -hmm. So I, I just don't know. I just, just don't know. And tonight, still a lot of questions. More answers need to be told. Now, there are no signs in this cul de sac warning of the dead end behind me. As for Colbert, we're told he is not facing any charges. We do know he is the person who called 911. Reporting live on the northwest side, Dave Detling, KOCO 5 News.